One year ago this week, President Trump called out the Ortega regime for undermining democratic institutions and violently repressing Nicaraguans by signing Executive Order 13851. Despite censure from the United States and international partners, the recent nine-day standoff at a church in Musaya reminds us of the Ortega regime's continuing repression. During the standoff, Nicaraguan National Police surrounded the church after a priest and mothers of political prisoners initiated a hunger strike. Then, they arrested other Nicaraguans attempting to bring water to the protesters, adding to the 130-plus political prisoners that were already languishing in Nicaraguan jails. This is just the latest example of how Ortega's police and thugs deny Nicaraguans fundamental freedoms and use arrests, or worse, to suppress peaceful dissent. One year after President Trump's executive order, we will continue to hold the Ortega regime accountable until democracy and fundamental freedoms are restored and genuinely free and fair elections are held in Nicaragua.